is um, at the first part of this hook, that's the sharp angle. It's the sharp angle. And the second part is, is a much uh, wider angle, almost a right angle, the part that takes you back up to the line. All right, so you have the her, the well, you have the um, isolated form. So what about the initial form? So the her, what you do is you make a sh shape similar to uh, the isolated form, then you come down through the middle, and you're ready to connect on to the next letter. The wow, of course, is one of the six letters that can't connect on to a letter after it. It doesn't have, it doesn't have um, an uh, initial form. The ya yeah does. It's a spike with two dots below it, like that. So now we have uh, five, if I've uh, counted them correctly, uh, letters which are represented just by spikes. We have the ba, the ta, and the tha, the noon, and the ya. Yeah. And the only thing that separates them is the number of dots. So for the ya, yeah, we have these two dots below it, like that. All right. What about the um, uh, medial form now? The ha requires a little bit of attention. You come from a previous letter, you go down and to the right, like that, you hope you make this bow shape, and then you come down and to the left, and you go forward like that. The ha. The wow, again, you're not going to have a medial form, because the medial form requires you to connect with the next letter. The ya, as with all the spikes, very easy, just like that. All right, so what about the final forms? Now for the ha, you come from a previous letter, you go up, come down ever so slightly, and you finish with this shape here. That's your ha. Now if you remember, uh, we had one, one of our supplementary letters, uh, the za marbuba, which was just a ha, the two dots above it. So, uh, And one of the things we said about the za marbuba is that it only ever occurs at the end of a word. So if this were a, da, a da marbuba, it'd be written in the same way with two dots above it. There's your da marbuba. All right, so what about my final form of the wow? Yes, I do have. Previous come from a previous letter and make my wow. And my final form of the ya yeah as well, very easy. It just looks my. You just come from a previous letter and then you just make the initial form. Like that. Okay, let's look at a final example. Final example. So we have a word consisting of the letters wow, ha, and ya. Yeah. Alright? So, the wow and the ha, first of all. Now, the wow, being one of the six letters which can't connect onto a letter after it, is not going to connect to the ha. There's nothing before it. We use, therefore, the isolated form of the wow. The ha, um, as we said, is not connected to the wow, but it will connect to the letter after it. So, we use the initial form, just connected to a letter after it, of the ha. And the ya is just connected to a letter before it. There isn't anything after it. We use the final form, therefore, of the ya. So we just have this gap there to plug in. What does that give us? It gives us this word here. All right. Let's put in our, our vowels. And we get the word wahyun, wahyun, which means revelation. So before the next lesson, what you need to do is make sure you're comfortable with the concepts of isolated, initial, medial, and final forms. Understand what they mean, and then just practice them. Just practice, practice, practice. And the thing to do, the way to practice is um, use the vocabulary tickets that you uh, made in the previous lesson, and again, just shuffle them, and just pick out some random uh, letters, and see if you can make a word out of them. You probably won't make a, a word which makes any sense, but that doesn't matter. Just see if you uh, are able to join them together and you know which letters can connect and which letters can't connect and um, uh, what implications that has for the way the word is connected. So keep practicing and I'll see you next time in lesson three.